Good evening everyone. This is Vrishali. From this session we will start a next topic in DBMS that is transaction. Here we will discuss about transaction state with examples. I have mentioned complete database management system playlist link in below description box. So let's start the session. In this channel you will get a complete point wise easy explanation with practical demo and question bank of following subject. So please like and share these videos with your friends and subscribe the channel. So you will get the notification regarding my new coming videos. Now the first topic is what exactly transaction. Basically transaction is state of operations and all these operations are logically related with each other. In another language transaction is a single logical unit of work and which perform different set of operations and all these operations are logically related with each other. So these are the some definitions about transactions. Okay. Now let's see some examples of transactions. The first example related to the money transfer. You can transfer money from one account to another account, right? Means one complete process is there, which is called as transaction. The second is login system. When you put username and password at that time system check this particular password with the password that's stored in database, right? So this is a one process is called as transaction. Next one is payment gateway. You can use different payment application like Google Pay, Paytm, etc. So this complete process is called as transaction. Now online booking system and different commands. You can implement different uh, commands like DDL commands, DML commands with database connection. So this all things having included into the transaction. And best example is operating system. CPU can perform read write operations on the hard drive. So these all are the examples of transactions. Next. Now here first we discuss operations in transaction. There are two main operations in transaction. First one is read operation. Second one is read op write operation. So read operation exactly means read the data from the database. When CPU read the data from the database. Okay. And this data stored into the main memory which is called as read operation. See here this is your main memory. This is your disk. And main memory read the data from disk that is 5000A as it is. The next one is write operation. Write operation means write the updated data into the database. Okay. See here in this example main memory and hard disk. Main memory first read the data from this database that is 5000 to 7000. And after that write the data. Write data means updated the data. So they updated data as 7000. And after that the 7000 stored into the disk. Right. So this is a simply read and write operation. Read data from database and write data from data up to the database. Right. Next. Now these are the some transaction state diagram. Okay. In your exam this is one of the most important question. Now there are total six transaction state. That is active state, partial committed state, committed state and terminated state. So this thing is called as consistent database. Next thing is active state, failed state, aborted state and terminated state. So this thing is called as particular aborted process okay, or fail process. So these are the total six transaction states have there. We will discuss all the state with examples. Now the first state is active state. This is the first state in your life cycle of transaction. So active state simply means instructions are ready for execution purpose. Or instructions are getting executed right see here in this example so I am giving you two example one is related to operating system and another example which is our real or daily life example that is ATM okay so the first one is operating system when CPU want to perform read write operations on the hard drive so they use a RAM memory which is called as buffer memory cache memory anything okay because CPU can perform million instruction per second that's why they use a RAM here in between this communication process. So CPU now ready for read and write operation. This is called as active state here while performing withdraw money operation at that time first you insert the ATM card, right? So this is a active state while performing a different SQL practical. The first step is connect to the database, right? So this is called as active state next. Now the second state is partial committed state. So in partial committed state, whatever the operations have performed like read and write operations. So all these operations have stored into the main memory. 
not a hard drive okay all these operations are stored into the main memory or buffer let's see here in this example suppose a cpu perform this operation like read a write a read b write b so these all operations currently stored into the ram okay cpu perform read write operations in ram and all the data stored into this buffer so this is called as partial committed state see here in the atm example after inserting a card they will ask some question like select language choose a particular service either withdraw or transfer the money or please enter the amount right so this is called as partial committed state in partial committed state either the transaction is fail or either they permanently stored into the committed state so let's see next now the third state is committed state see here in active state your transaction will get started then it goes to the partial committed state here operations have performed and data stored into the memory or buffer and now if the operations have successfully done it goes to the committed state so committed state means your operations have successfully performed see here when cpu perform this transaction operation like read write operations onto the ram memory and while the operations are perform they get committed committed means all this data have stored into the hard drive permanently right so here data have stored into the hard drive similarly in atm example see here after performing all these operations at the end your money have withdrawal right so this is called as committed state operation successfully done all the data stored in database and which is called as fully committed means operation successfully done right next the fourth state is fail state now see here in the active state when a particular operations get started so there are two option either the partial committed state or it will be fail and when the particular operations in partial committed state it also will get fail means there are two chances right so why operations have fail so there are various reasons or various outages like sometimes electricity is off when you perform some operations on cpu electricity is off right means your operations have fail battery down sometimes server error no internet connection so there are lots of errors having there so this by because of this all reasons your transaction get into the fail state right see here when cpu perform read write operations and at that time your computer uh, computer will get shut down right or sometimes electricity is off so at that time your operations have fail right the next example in atm sometimes atms give you error like uh, temporary unable to process this transaction or transaction has been declined so this is called as fail state okay means when transaction gets started and suddenly it will get fail right or before operation get successful in partial committed state it will get fail so this is called as fail state next the next state is aborted state aborted state means when transaction get into the fail state so there are two ways either restart the transaction or kill the transaction okay means let's take the example here in operating system when cpu perform read write operation into the ram and suddenly your electricity is off your computer will get shut down right so at that time all these operations get into the fail state and when electricity is on when your computer have started so at that time this operations is take as it is which is uh, stay in this particular state that take as it is okay that is restart the transaction or otherwise they kill the transaction means again they will start the transaction from the first step from the active state okay there are two ways or two reasons having there so this is called as aborted state now in atm suppose your transaction will get fail there is a option like cancel button right or otherwise you need to again insert your card again perform the operation so this is called as aborted state okay so after the transaction has roll back completely it enters into the aborted state roll back means undo operation so in aborted state it will get into the terminated state next now the last step is terminated state this is the last state in life cycle of transaction so terminated state means finally every operations have performed either it is partial committed goes to to the partial committed state operations have successful and it get into the terminated state and another option is your operation have fail or aborted and it will get into the terminated state two options have there right now just see here in this example in this atm example when you withdraw money 
it it will ask at the end would you like to receive yes or no and after performing this operation again some new persons will come and new persons have performed the transaction right means uh, all the other services it will get end okay means it gives to the another person or another process now see here suppose if you perform read write operation here after committed all the data stored into the hard disk now cpu is ready for performing another operation so this is called as terminated state clear next and this is just a revision about your transaction state first is your active state transaction have started so there are two option it will get into the partial committed state they perform the read write operations and after that they permanently store the data into the hard disk that is a committed state operation successful and it will get into the terminated state means operation end and they perform the new operation old transaction successfully completed another thing is active state and because of some reason your transaction have fail then it will get into the aborted state either they roll back the transaction or kill the transaction and it will get into the terminated state and again it perform the first step next right so this is a transaction state diagram is all about transaction state in next session we will discuss about asset properties thank you keep learning